Maisie asks Jack versus LSD, and this is sort of like a match day matchup between um, Knights and Shark City. I think this will be a good back and forth. People are writing LSD off online. LSD's obviously saying Lazy's got no chance. I think there's only one way to settle this one. Let's see how this one goes. I think Dean needs the win on a big stage. I think Dean has been looking for, not he, he doesn't need it, but I think Dean is looking for some sort of battle rap validation. Do you know what I mean? Uh, a win on a big stage. Um, that's what he's, he's built for big stages. He's not a small one battle. He's not, a, he's, he's, he's about the spectacle. If he's allowed, if he's got freedom to move about and scat about like he did at the All-Star, he's, he's all -Star, no, the Academy Final, then he'll like, he'll fucking smash it. Manchester Academy 2, if you're in the building, show some love! Yeah, I... First of all, I want to shout out all the sponsors, always on point. Red Lion Pitcher and Ace for Stia for sponsoring Premier Battles throughout the season and always showing us love. That being said, on the right-hand side, making his debut in Premier Battles, representing Knights Battle Club, Manchester, show some love for Lazy! To my left, representing Shark City, the winner of the first ever Academy Tournament from Manchester. Make some noise for LSD. This is a three round battle. Lazy decided he wanted to start round number one. So it's round one of Lazy whenever you're ready, bro. Let's go. Yo, can everybody hear me, yeah? yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Yo, hold it down. Can you not hear? Apparently they can't. You are remarkably bland for somebody named after a psychedelic substance. <laughs> so he's not gonna say, shit, I can't predict, that's blatant. After he's done calling me a gangly freak, he'll probably call me a Tory, portray me as mad racist. Evidence it all with the banks, with the cash payments on the bank statements and my dad's wages. Well, cool. Because then I believe this guy will see the irony when I dump his body offshore like a tax haven. If you think... Yeah! If you think you're winning, it's because you only talk of yourself like Team America's Matt Damon. Yeah. <laughs> You're just not as incisive, so comparatively, when you're rapping with me, all your angles will seem mad basic. I'll be breaking down this body like Dr. Manhattan as he stands panicked in the lab chamber, or just bring down the bat, then I'm packing LSD in the trunk like fear and loathing in Las Vegas. <laughs> Come on, man. See me? I've had swathes of these opponents where I lose interest because I don't think they'll test my writing. But you are the first one to put me in a fully blown existential crisis. <laughs> so let's get the story right, bitch. Time to scrutinize. I called him out, heard the dude reply, was going to write back to that shite track, but then he said he would never do it live. Well, then it hit me. I'm begging a battle of LSD. What am I doing with my life? He's. <laughs> He said it was an insult to his pride. In fact, Dean was up in arms. And yet, here you fucking are. It's a, it's a matter of integrity. It's where I stand apart from, dude. He said he'd never battle me. Well, that shit's hardly true. Who knew all the convincing it would take is just Briggsy asking you. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, well. Any opportunity to lick an arse or two on the staff of views, this guy is a peanut. Well, <laughs> this guy is a peon, getting hyper jumping through hoops like he ride on the bebop. So go ahead, underestimate the heights that I be on. If he doesn't see my shine, that's how he will die. I've been learning to shoot snipers with Leon. Yeah, professional. Professional, excellent skill. I could kill him with my left hand. So you won't see this knight take an L. Oh. Professional, excellent skill. I could kill him with my left hand, so you won't see this knight take an L like a chess match. Cause he, uh, uh, 
Because if this league stays team-based, well, I'll turn it on and light up the whole table like a desk lamp. He was talking like he could test Jack. He tried giving me the cold shoulder. Then he found out he might get to perform in front of Rock. That's when he got a little bolder. Hold up. Now, <laughs> hold up. Never beef LSD online. That shit turns into an Avengers scene. Assemble! Online buddies there to defend his rep and legacy. So I decided to find the chink in his chainmail, pressure him defensively. But it was like chainmail. I knew that it would get to him eventually. I guess you. I, I guess you need. I guess you need to touch up your writing, or this will become an obvious blot on your resume. Sold himself out like Mary Magdalene. Honest to God. So should you have spoken? Honest to yes, yeah, Avon gets it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sold himself out like Mary Magdalene, honest to God. So should you have spoken shit on my name? Nah, probably not. This is what happens when you let your echo chamber turn into a commentary box. Yeah. So if you want to know why I called him out, you can go online and read about it. But let's see if this twat still wants to flap his gums once I punch the teeth out of him. Yeah. Uh, uh, because the shit that he's spouting, he might as well have tied a noose, hung a rope. We've been waiting for you to say goodbye for so long. If you could, that'd be fucking dope. See, you got a filthy, filthy mouth, and I could wash it out with soap, but I would take a knife, make a slice, cut and slow, right across your gullet if I wanted to hear a bubble in your throat. Tired. Let's go, round one up, team, let's go. Manchester, yeah? Yeah. Talking about me ducking him. I don't understand why it makes gas. Bro, have you seen this crowd? I would have taken Yanif if it meant I got a stage pass. <laughs> but it's two losses on the bounce. Mad stress, can't let it phase me. Stock dropped on my account. Damn, guess that I'm getting lazy, but he's so technically great. Man, he's technical on stage. In that case, consider me technically amazed. I'm fucking effortlessly great. Little tutorial here, bro. There's levels to the game. Judge a book by its cover. Your shit looks better on the page. Words are weapons and you better get sentenced to your fate. But they told me, don't talk about gun violence. Fuck that, heat out, sun shining. I let the ratchets fight for me like Love Island. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, that's right, come on. I said I'm back. Abundance of one-liners, dumb fire. Call the whole game off like an umpire. See my girl said, see my girl said, Dean, you face vets. Why are you still wrong with this shit? I said, babe, keep your voice down. Battle rap don't know you exist. But then I, <laughs> but then I notice it fits. Comes close to the six. Too many texts. I start ghosting this bitch. See, if you talk about metal, I'm thinking a broadsword. Armor on him like what lords wore. Well, I'm in a field with a stick like a warlord. Take down your whole network. No need for the talk talk. I'm out here looking for Jack like, oi, where's the orcs cord? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Are the, are, are the URL rappers not here? What the fuck is this? Are you telling me I'm not allowed to talk about guns and shit? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Just do a whole fucking 2010 round about how I fucked his bitch? Well, I fucking did! <laughs> Bro, I crossed the line so quickly. That's just the running of the race. Made a house feel like home. I was comfy in the place. She told you it meant nothing. Means I'm nutting on her face. Let the... Let the hate filter. Yeah, come on. Let the hate filter. Even your mates filled her. That bitch been put in more positions than James Milner, I'm so... Yeah, come on, boy! There we go! I said, yo! I said, I said I'm so wavy. I don't even move through space, right? Already fucked your next girlfriend just to save time at Shark City. And you staring at a great white about to be over everything like a motherfucking hate crime. I ain't a usual guy. Belt his chest in, self-reflection. Make him look inside himself like, who am I? She said he was afraid of commitment, but now bro committed suicide. What? 
You only here because they couldn't think of any better victims. The knife's already in your stomach. Try your best not to get it twisted. I beg you, I beg, you beg your pardon for I make you beg forgiveness. I've got to kill the whole event now. Make sure I never left a witness. Time. Yo. So, there's this thing that you and Jay Short do, and I'm not talking about cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's where you get a little crowd reaction and start to pull, go around the whole stage. It's so. <laughs> it's so lame. Oh, wait, my bad. That is cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> you're so unhealthy looking, your inner spirit considers your body retrograde. More bags under your eyes than your music will ever make. Let's get it straight. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yo, let's get it straight. Check this. Go on, yo, let's get it straight. Check the shit that I have wrote. The ink shows I got this in my pocket. My biro's broke. I listen to your mu- I listen to your music. I don't like those flows. Heard more melody in a dial tone. Couldn't go, couldn't go through with listening to those tunes if I was banging keys like a xylophone. You are fucked now that I'm involved. See, you make screamo emo music. Please, don't take this as a compliment. But every time I listen to it, I accidentally sing along to it. The, uh, Right? <laughs> Yo, the problem is that you are the world's first emo roadman. <laughs> too easy, too easy. Yo, <laughs> the problem is you are the world's first emo roadman. Dude, <laughs> dude, that shit is funny. How does that even work? Like, motherfucker, give me all. My money? Uh. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. He's been flagging in the ring like a matador. No brain, no spine. Still, he thinks that he's a man of war. Fight against the current. Going back to where the salmon's born. Triathlon. Gonna get on your bike because it's gonna get deep as soon as your time in the street has ran its course. I mean, you just. So you just follow the trends as far as I can report. So, sir, there is no debating. You have the floor. Because really, because really, you, really, you, a shooter? Please, that's not the guy that appears in your music, G. You must be pretty fucking desperate when you take a generic style and make it your USP. Guess he struggled to fit in like a USB. You test me. Yo. Yo. Yo, you test me, not when you went to Roadman from Comedian, a cultural chameleon. That was the plan, and he put it promptly into action. He swapped up the wavy garms, or oh, not so much today, but he, uh, uh, he swapped the wavy garms for urban labels. It's obvious it happened as he went from comedy to stabbing. We saw the change in your material. It's clear that he's just following the fashion. Uh, Yo, but that's, but that's in bad taste. We've seen your rap change and there's a bottleneck to get through if you want to start popping like champagne. But since New Jersey twerp here started doing his best you... <laughs> Yo, but since New Jersey twerp here started doing his best URL impression, prancing around the damn stage, talking about how he let the gas spray. He thinks that he's been on a rampage, but the facts plain, you would get walked all over if you were living in a gangway. But... But apparently this depressive emo is gonna stab Jake. Shit, I guess it could be true. But if you had a knife in your hands, the only person in any danger would be you. <laughs> so, so monologue about your murder sprees. I can see what you're trying to do, but every time that you do, it becomes clear. The only thing you're gonna kill is the vibe in the room. No style you choose. 
There's a vibe in the room. No style you choose can take you from no name to legend. He's so lame dependent on that whole Grey Collective. Because when he gets the clash, he's vexed and mad. Penning tracks, depressed and sad. Like that's in no way pretentious. He just pick up the pad. Sensitivity increasing like pro gamer settings. I mean, <laughs> Like pro gamer settings. He wants to be on URL so bad <laughs> that he. <laughs> he wants to be on URL so bad that he tried to manage transatlantic reach by switching up his accent. Please, I guarantee they see you as a parody because that attempt at international relations wasn't handled diplomatically. There is a massive gap between... There is a massive gap between what you promise and achieve. A staggering disparity, quite frankly, it's embarrassing since... See, I represent no one but myself, and that's exactly what you're lacking in. Since this man smashed the academy, he's fucking turned into a PB puppet. God damn it, I can't stand for it. He only get a clash in if all the staff are backing it. But right now, I imagine that they're panicking because all the matches that they hand to him have smacked this twat and battered him because the fact is this. You're getting opportunities off the back of a manufactured narrative where the reward was different proportionate to the opponents that they matched him with. So... <laughs> Come on, let's pull on. Yo. Yo. Because the fact... Yo. But right now... Right now... I would imagine that they're panicking because all the matches that they had to him have smacked this twat and battered him because the fact is this, you're getting opportunities off the back of a manufactured narrative where the reward was disproportionate to the opponents that they matched him with because the fans and shit been gassing him and now I think Nathaniel is too big for the itty bitty boots that he's having to sprint a marathon in. <laughs> I said fabricated angles. That's the reason your stomach get cut. I do not do cocaine. I'm just ugly as fuck. <laughs> yeah. And I am an emo road man. You best get some help. I know my blade sharp. I fucking test it myself. What? Yeah. What? I said, you need to step your physio up. I'm backballing, no Juve fan, but the gang touring. He thought all the gun bars were smack talking till he got smacked talking. They say, they say ignorance is bliss. And why that's always been a mystery. There's dum dums in the shotgun. He about to fight inner peace. Blow his head to smithereens. One shot, rinse him clean. Feeling like some Listerine. I make some money, then you die. This a bit of sweet symphony. He's jotting on. I know, man. He's jotting all my bars down, trying to find the hidden themes. There's no fucking similes. I will kill you literally. <laughs> this is not a metaphor. You're a piece of shit to me. <laughs> oh, but he's posh. And that makes him so great. <laughs> OK. I smash your face to pieces like a mosaic. He said, Dean, you got cocaine? I charged him 120 for half a gram, then told him I had no change. Type of <laughs> Type of guy to wash a zanny down with rosé. Bottle to his face. <laughs> so type of guy to wash a zanny down with rosé. Bottle to his face, nice visions looking opaque. I'm a barrel full of laughs till the action starts to rotate. You in the field with a hammer nash, just a game of croquet. I'm straight to the point. We don't have a while. A glass to his mug, I'm trying to crack a smile. I said, I was in the tea house. He said, I said, glass to his mug. I'm trying to crack a smile. I said I was in the tea house. He said, oh, did they do chamomile? <laughs> you... <laughs> you... I said you blatantly soft. I swear your cadence seems off. Is it Lazy Ass Jack or fucking Jacob Reese mug it's a... <laughs> it's a madness. You know how well I would dress if I was that rich? Holidays, laying with a bad bitch. 
Fucking on a friend's, five a day, just my average, I'd stay swinging. But he spent his winnings on a master's, like, Mummy, can I borrow some money for some ratchet? If you throw in another 20, Pedro said he'd do my ad libs. <laughs> <laughs> See, it ain't a problem that you're posh cunt. It's a problem, you're a posh cunt. You posh cunt. <laughs> I swear, imagine lazy at a party. Normal banter agenda. Posh cunts talking about their gap years and splendour. His mate starts bragging about his travels in Kenya and then Lazy's like, well, one time I got to stand near to censor. <laughs> you fucking pampered kid. Proper soft, big foot. I'll have his vision blur, I'm a monster. Watch, grab a glass and muzzle top with a Molotov. Jack Banford main stage, just to top it off. You take, yeah. woo. You take that privilege on your shoulder and try to use it as a bargain chip. Hope you get promoted still, regardless of the bars you spit. I went from Academy 2, Academy 2. You never worked as hard as this. For me, this shit's a passion, bro. For you, it's just a party trick. Time. Oh, shit. Yo. Since you got your ass whipped by Matter and Briggsy, you are not in demand. But before the battles, he was talking like he'd locked in the win as soon as he'd locked in his bars. So when they beat you in first gear, that was an obvious par. I guess the road got bumpy because you were blind to what was crossing your path. <laughs> but now he gets a push because he has a bond with the staff. I guess it's easier to change yourself than improve yourself and honestly graft. So you gave them what they wanted, but what you became is not what you are. The staff peddling a product they shaped like a pottery class. It's a Whoa. obvious, yo. Oh. Yeah, like a pottery class. It's an obvious farce. He went like four battles without one defeat and a tryout competition, which I didn't enter because beating shit down the leg of bottom tier battlers doesn't sound like fun to me. But he, but he said I wouldn't have looked out a place in it. Like you could have fucked with me, but you're right. I wouldn't have looked out a place. Not if I was, uh, oh, I don't know, another battler with about three years experience there to keep me company. <laughs> mm. But you needed the academy. That's because you were a slow starter. No one knows your name. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Take his head off. Cold lager. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> Uh, uh. Yo, but you needed the academy. That's because you were a slow starter. No one knows your name. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Take his head off. Cold lager. Soon as the contract was signed, he had to raise his average. I'm Coach Carter. Let's go, partner. Yo. Yo. Let's go, partner. The academy is the only reason you get to battle anyone but... Yo. The... Yo, the academy is the only reason you get to battle anyone that anyone has heard of, but tryouts to title contenders is clearly an absurd jump. Point it out, he gets worked up, but I think you need a reality check, because the reality checks are the only reason they turn up. Uh, nobody cares when you rap about how you burst slugs. We've seen the image that Dean was switching, but in terms of quality, can't perceive a difference. So he was gunning for the vets, like they were easy pickings. They kept on giving this emo the slip, like all of his repeat prescriptions. He thought that he could, you know, like all of his repeat prescriptions. He thought he could take the OGs for victims. I know, because he was talking lots. Massa and Briggsy, they gave you two shots. Now you're staring down this barrel because you never saw them off. The staff... The Yo, with the force of bombs. Yo, the star filled your head with dreams about how you were going to blow up with the force of bombs. They led you down the garden path. Now, your garden path that you should never have been walking on. You are a one-hit wonder. When I pick that as a subject to talk upon, I'm not trying to be obnoxious. It's the sign of protest, no less, designing it to shock you. He got gassed up off of the riot and the squabble. Now he's trying not to wobble like he's cycling on the cobbles, stirring up a storm in a teacup over catching lightning in a bottle. Yo. <laughs> We had to put it on tonight to prompt it, but finally, we stand in here clashing just for me to tell you I had your bitch in my bed, switching positions like a pragmatist's habits. Wait, wait, that's a distraction. Wait, wait, that's, wait, wait, that's a distraction. Quick, get back to the tactics. Don't want to end up like you, switching topics every two seconds. This man has to practice, because I... 
You're switching topics every two seconds. This man has to practice, because I see the cracks in your writing, like Anglo-Saxon manuscript fragments. Man, you script fragments. There's something coherent when he's working on lines, coasting in the slow lane, make him swerve to the right. Now I'll make him pay any verse that he writes, like a celebrity in a restaurant when he turns up to the fight. No reservations, he'll get served on the night. Oh, yeah. Yo. Yo, just to be accepted, you have to change your style blatant, but it's plain, you sound basic, so your claims are outrageous. That's why he resorts to building castles in the sky, because he never put in the groundwork to lay the foundation. So go ahead, scream about your imaginary success, and hope it's true. Crazy how you had to start making a scene just to get this one to notice you. Tired. <laughs> Round three on LSD, let's go, hold it down. I said it's third round. Know your role. I'm grabbing partner. do -si do rope a dope, leave him comatose. The, I said rope a dope, leave him comatose. The lights are on, but no one's home. How shocked say it? Let it bang on a white boy head like Post Malone? Fuck that, little peep. Just two bars and make him overdose. This your, this your premier battle debut. Here. This ain't a message that... Here, this ain't a message that you can bar. You gotta thank me for the card like a letter to your grandma, but fuck the punches. I said fuck the punches. Let's just talk some hard facts. I pick this round up later, just put it on my bar tab. I get that you call lazy. It makes sense because you can't rap. But what on fucking earth is an arse <laughs> Bro, when I rap, when I rap, I gotta pause for applause. When you rap, we have to pause for a pause. You fucking, you fucking specky geek, looking like Kenny Beats when he was 17. If I'm LSD, if I'm LSD, then he's mescaline. Ground down, he's nothing next to Dean. Allow your fucking memory. I put Jack inside the box like the clown they fucking sent for me. But they said it's this or no international. And that's the only reason I'm stood on stage. You ain't achieved a fraction of what I've done to date. Respect is earned and I feel underpaid. Should have run away, never touched the plate. You ever get those hunger pains because you can't stomach lanes? Feel the pressure in the air, you start to crack like how thunder's made that. Same pressure got you twisted, now it's like a hurricane. I am fucking great. I, I said the crowd can sleep, but this is a bad dream. Tall task, altitude sickness, he's mad peak. I said, I said the crowd can sleep, but this is a bad dream. Tall task, altitude sickness, he's mad peak. This battle been booked for the third time. First rhyme I wrote for him, last week. Yeah, I'm a Lancashire boy. I'm a Lancashire boy, so I came from Accrington with a Stanley. Wait. Wait, wait. I came from Accrington with a Stanley. Wait, replay that damn scheme. This your end game, get clapped for your last scene. I'm back, B. I swear, so don't ever waste my time trying to pretend he extra distinguished. What's the levels within his whole set get extinguished? An all star coming up. I know Chiller mentioned me. Well, who's next on the hit list? Start expressing your wishes. Employee of the month, I'm the best in the business. Time. Yo, mate, some noise for that battle. I'm so glad you put that out. Straight on to soul, I'm going to go straight